Hello and welcome to a new video about Syria news on October 2021. On October 2nd, six members of the Syrian 4th Division were killed including a brigadier general and 11 others were injured after Islamic State forces ambushed them in Al Balas area in Hama Desert. On October 3rd, a member of the Turkestan Islamic Party was killed and four others were wounded after an explosion occurred in the city of Idlib. On the same day, at least four members of HTS were killed after a suicide drone attack on their positions on the Al Ruveha front line of Idlib. On October 6th, five members of the Iranian backed Liba Fatim Yun were killed and ten more were wounded in a suspected ISIS attack while scumping for ISIS cells in the Al Biarat area of the Homs Governorate. On the same day, two Syrian army lieutenants were killed by unknown gunmen in Dara province. Furthermore, a member of the Turkish-backed opposition was killed after SDF forces opened fire on their positions on the front lines of al shakirak village in the north of Raqqa. On October 7, a Turkish soldier was killed by SDF forces after they targeted the Turkish Altavis base in the northern Aleppo countryside. The Turkish Ministry of Defense claimed to have killed five SDF fighters in response. On the same day, a member of Hayat Tahir al-Sham HTS was killed and seven others injured in a Russian airstrike on one of the group's headquarters in Basekol village in the western countryside of Idlib. On October 8, it's reported that in the past week, at least 17 ISIS members had been killed in Russian airstrikes in the Syrian desert, mostly in the areas in the Aleppo, Hama, Araka Triangle and Palmyra Desert. On October 9, two foreign fighters fighting for the Assad government were killed after Israeli airstrikes hit the T-4 airbase in the eastern countryside of Homs. On October 10, two Turkish soldiers were killed and two Turkish-backed militiamen were injured after SDF YPG forces targeted the Turkish armored vehicle in Azaz. On October 11, at least six people were killed including a member of the Turkish-backed militia after a car bomb exploded in the city of Afrin. On October 13, two members of Sukhor al-Sham were killed after a landmine explosion in Binin village in South Idlib countryside. On the same day, Israeli airstrikes killed at least one Syrian soldier and wounded three others after they targeted the T-4 airbase near the city of Palmyra. On October 15, at least eight Syrian soldiers were killed after ISIS attacked Syrian army posts in the al Rasafa area in the Syrian desert. On the same day, two Turkish soldiers were killed by an improvised explosive device explosion targeted their armored vehicle north of Idlib. The Abu Bakr al-Siddiq brigade claimed responsibility for the attack. On October 17, an ISIS militant was killed by SDF forces during a security operation in Al-Zar village in the eastern countryside of Deir Zul. Also, at least 14 ISIS operatives were killed by around 55 Russian airstrikes in the al Rasafa desert conducted in the previous 48 hours. On October 20, 14 Syrian military personnel were killed and three others were wounded after two roadside bombs exploded as a Syrian military bus was passing President Bridge, Damascus. On the same day, 13 people were killed by Syrian artillery bombardment on Ariha in Idlib province. A Syrian army ammo depot also exploded near Hama, killing six Syrian military personnel and wounding three others. Also on October 20, 24 people were executed by the Syrian state for starting wildfires on the Latakia Governorate. On October 22, a US drone strike killed Abdul Hamid al Matar, a senior Al Qaeda leader in northern Syria. On October 23, three civilians were killed in a Turkish drone strike on a car in Kobani, northern Syria. On October 24, Russian jets executed three airstrikes on the western countryside of Idlib, targeting the vicinity of the sugar factory in Jistral Sugar and the outskirts of Al Kafir village in the southern countryside of Idlib. On October 25, a drone strike near Ras al Ain killed Sabahi al Ibrahim al Muslahin, a man wanted by coalition forces for his links to ISIL. On October 13, a Syrian soldier was killed and a child was injured by opposition rocket fire on the Junin area in the Hama countryside. On October 31st, a Turkish soldier died of wounds he sustained on from an improvised explosive device in Idlib on October 15, bringing the total number of Turkish soldiers killed since early 2021 to 27. We tried to cover all incidents in Syria during October 2021. If you like to know more about Syria, check out our channel.